welcome this is the energy vibration reading for the hurt sign full moon and we're calling up on our angel animal and all the legions of the full moon to come out all of the angels for the full moon to come out show us the energy for the hurt signs um for the taurus virgos so this reading is for the taurus virgos and capricorn full moon reason for the um month of may going into june so we're calling up an archangel annual and all of the angels and goddess of the full moon um and uh, um, the um, ascendance masters of the full moon to come out and show us the message for the earth sign so for the sun people we have gemini so for the people who were born um uh, between the hours of 6 a.m and 6 p.m we have gemini then we have the cancers then we have virgo coming in um that is good that is positive energies then for the lunar men so we have a libra so we have um a, um, a resolution of a situation and that is good and then we have the energy of mars with a career um for um you full moon um uh, for you guys okay so um here we have it we have jupiter um neptune Neptune is the unseen. Then we have the Scorpion and we have the Aries. So, whoever these people are in these situation are, they're definitely coming up. Okay? They are definitely coming up. Okay? So, um, be aware and align. I'm seeing the energy of the Aries coming up um, for a lot um, in this full moon so it's as if the Aries are working out whatever situation in this full moon so they're coming up they're definitely coming up so we need to be aligning our energies here and they're going to be affecting the fire sign and also um, the moon the the moon sign so the sun sign people are going to be affected by these areas and also uh, the lunar people are going to be affected by this areas uh, but there is going to be a sense of justice coming up against this Aries uh, for you guys so if you guys were dealing with an Aries person and a scorpion there is definitely justice that is going to be coming up especially for the uh, people who were born between the hours of uh, um, uh, the hours of uh, um, 6 p.m. and um, 6 a.m. in the morning so this is good and this is really wonderful because it's as if uh, whatever that was transpiring um, between these two people um, that is affecting or it could be one affecting you or could be the other but definitely a lot of you are going to be having some issues or some situation with the Aries and the scorpions and you are going to be justified okay so let's look at the sun sign people so if you were born between the hours of uh, 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. you're going to be dealing with the Gemini's the Gemini's are also another energy that is coming up in this full moon whatever the situation is the Gemini's are definitely here now the Gemini's and the scorpions there is going to be you are going to be having justice against the Gemini and the scorpion the Librans could be helping you guys to bring this balance in and this is going to be very 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 positive then we have the energy of uh, the cancers coming in so some of you people who were born um, you sun people between the, eight, the, the time of uh, um, 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. you're definitely going to be dealing with the Gemini's the Cancers and the Virgos the Gemini's the Cancers and the Virgos now some of you Virgos could be in relationship with the Cancers and there is also an extended person which could be an Aries or a scorpion so you would need to be aware of this and uh, really you Gemini's are going to be having the effect from the cancers and the scorpions 
there is definitely and you Virgos are going to be definitely having some situation on the work floor because Mars comes in and Mars comes in and, and Neptune and it has to do with you listening to your intuition about certain situation you uh, you Virgos because you Virgos are very intuitive and uh, this is where the um, energy is coming in L listen listen to your own intuitions you Virgos um, between the time of 15 May to 15 June because there is going to be a lot of situation that is going to be transpiring a lot of you are having issues with uh, the scorpions and with uh, the cancer so be aware of the situation and align yourself and the energies around you because this is definitely definitely going to be um, transpiring and taking place so be aware of the situation now definitely for the moon people justice is going to be coming in listen to your intuition there is a situation a deceptive situation that could have to do with your career or that sort of a thing and justice is going to be coming in and going to be prevailing and this is going to be good because for you earth sign is as if you could have found out something that was um, deceptive at your work or in some it could be at your work but it could be in a group of people that you found out that there was something very much deceptive and you have brought this thing to light and justice is going to be coming down on the Aries and the scorpion so whoever these Aries and scorpions are in your life it's as if you are seeing what has happened what has transpired it's as if you brought something to light something um that was um you know um hidden um is going to be coming out whatever the situation is and whatever that was happening with these scorpions and aries in your life it's, it's so it's as they had um combine themselves together and have done something really um deceptive against you and now it's as if the truth is going to be coming out and this truth justice is going to be coming down on them very 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 hard and it just because um you um earth sign stood up to what was going on and realized that there was some in uh, um some it, it was um as if these two people were um doing something that was injustice it's as if uh, they work in collaboration to deceive people situation and that sort of a thing and it's going to be coming out and um it, so for some of you it's going to be in the career um section because mars is here some of you it's going to be listening to your intuition what is going on what is transpiring so it's going to be coming out in um, different different facets it could be your kids it could be your sister or your brother however these people play a role in your life uh, their world is about to collapse and really collapse their world is about to collapse and really collapse so whoever these scorpion and these Aries are and whatever they were doing and whatever they tried to do is as if um, there is a sense that you figure out what they were doing and you're bringing um, the, 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 the deceptive situation to light and, uh, and, and there is where um, an understanding is going to be coming in and people are going to be seeing what they have done and this situation is definitely definitely is going to be um, resolving in your favor because as if um, the, the the deceptive move that they were doing is going to be coming out and people are going to be so surprised at whatever that has transpired so this is good so let's move forward and see um what is going to be coming out how are these people going to be affecting you so let's first look at the sun people with the gemini's um you could be okay the gemini's are going to be bringing you some joy so the sun people with the gemini's the gemini's are going to be bringing back joy in your life so some of you could be connecting with um the gemini's and this is going to be um very wonderful very positive 
and the cancers what is happening what is the cancer bringing in for the earth sign people in this full moon victimization so some of you are going to be victimized by a cancer so you could be in relationship with this person and this person have done something deceptive so you're going to be victimized um, by a cancer so be aware of this be um, clear of cancers um, people said that the cancers and the Capricorn connected I don't think that is true the can the Capricorn are more connected with the, the um, the Pisces okay the Virgos what's happening for the Virgos in this full moon grief grief a lot of grief is coming up for the Virgos so be aware of this a lot of Virgos there's grief coming up for the Virgos so you Virgos um, could be victimized by a cancer and that brings you grief because you are definitely dealing with a cancer you Virgos a cancer and um, the scorpion so you Virgos could be in a relationship with a cancer or a scorpion and they it's a love triangle that is going on and you're going to be having grief okay let's see what is happening for um, the um, Librans the Librans um, prior prior comes up with a, a legal issue or a situation prior come up so they're saying to you pray pray because prior will help the situation pray prior will help the situation whatever is going on you um, earth sign you need to pray because prior will help the situation this deceptive um, situation that is happening as we look at Neptune Neptune is the planet of the unseen and you need to be grateful because somehow your universal angels and spirit guides are going to be helping um, you moon sign people out okay gratitude prayers and gratitude for you moon people so if you were born after the hours of seven, six p.m. and 6 a.m. you need to find gratitude and gratitude come to, um, in because your spirit guides and angels are going to be helping you so through prior through pay, praying for a situation um, what has comes up is that uh, your and uh, your spirit guides as listen um, to your prior and uh, they are going to be bringing a resolution to the situation now Mars is here and a facility it comes up and this is the time when you go within to think am I on the right journey is this the right journey is this the right part for me should I choose another part this is what is going to be coming up but for some of you moon um, sign people because um, it's as if you are now at a crossroads and you're wondering is this the right part for me and that is when gun what is going to happen the scorpions are here so the scorpion there was whatever um, happens between you and a scorpion it was destined destined for this to happen whatever happened to um, 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 you and a scorpion it was destined to happen okay so um, do not worry and this reading is a, a hour longer so you can pick it up on on demand for a dollar 99 it's not much it's a hour longer that is going to be going in different aspect different section to explain to you um, what to look out for and how is it going to affect in you you can also ask for a private full moon readings because with the private full moon regions you receive the information about whatever is transpiring release and this is so good so a lot of you are going to be releasing an Aries and this is so wonderful this is so powerful because the Aries were coming up um, in this full moon and they they are going to be shown up and in the ending may going into juice you're going to be releasing this Aries you're definitely going to be releasing this Aries whatever happens between you and the scorpion it's destined to happen pray for this person it could be a child it could be someone who you are connected to and um, affected to pray for this person because definitely um, with prayers the universe is going to be helping this person so let's say that um, your child or someone you know uh, your sister or brother is in a relationship with an Aries or so you're gonna be praying and the release is going to be coming for this person so this person is going to be guided back 
on the right track okay this person is definitely going to be guided back on the right track and this is going to be good so um, you Virgos there's grief that is going to be coming in the grief is coming from the scorpions and the cancers you um, you um, Sun sign people are going to be having joy if you connect with a Gemini you're good definitely going to be having joy so if you are a Taurus and you connect with a Gemini this could be a good relationship that is coming in for you moon sign people it's all about the intuition it's all about the spirituality it's all about you trying to figure out is this the right journey is this the right thing to do understanding where you are and kind of balancing out a situation and situations around you to understand where you are and the transition that is transpiring in your life and this is going to be very 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 positive um, ladies and gentlemen it is really a full moon that is coming up that is going to be affecting a lot of you um, so um, leave a message about this read it and go use the link and pick up the link um, uh, um, at the bottom of this and it will take you to the on the month page it's just a dollar ninety nine and that reading is an hour long so namaste until next time